I'm joined now by Michael Kennedy. He's the Chief Executive of Ireland Lacrosse and also the Event Director of a World Championship, which was coming to Limerick this summer and now we can reveal is coming to Limerick next summer. Evening, Michael. How are you, Rob? Thanks for having me. That's great. Uh, look, great news this week. Uh, you've just got confirmation that the, the World Under-19 Championships, as was going to be this year, is going to be held one year later. How did the news break to you? Well, uh, we just got it uh, through World Lacrosse. Uh, they had their uh, monthly board meeting on Tuesday. So um, we have, but, but it didn't really come as any surprise. And I think that's a real testament to the positive working relationship I've had with World Lacrosse. So, you know, when we started to see uh, the virus and uh, started to think about potential impact on our event, uh, this Men's World U19 Championship, uh, which was due to happen at the University of Limerick from the 9th to the 18th of July, um, we started looking at, at, you know, risk evaluation. And all the while, I was in constant communication with World Lacrosse. They've been excellent interacting with me, uh, my event management partner, Abbey Events, and uh, uh, David Ward at the University of Limerick. So it came as more of a relief that we got the formal decision, but not a surprise because we had worked so closely. We had looked at all the options. Um, the national teams who had signed up to participate this summer were all surveyed uh, for their input. Would they uh, participate in an event at the end of June next year? And finally, the, you know, the final uh, formal decision that the event will take place from the 17th to the 26th of June 2021 at the University of Limerick. So um, really pleased with that and uh, really keen to... Um, utilize the extra 12 months of planning. You know, anybody who's involved in a big event, you know, the one thing if you ask them in the final stretch, if, if they had more of, it would probably be time. And now I'm blessed with this extra 12 months and I'm really trying to make the most of it. We're already looking at a whole bunch of new and exciting ideas for the event next year that we just didn't have the time or capacity to work on for this year's event. Isn't that great? Yeah, time was always the commodity that was most precious and now we've got it. And so the challenge is to make the most of it. So the, it was the World Under-19 Championship this year. It's going to be for the same players. They're giving, being given an opportunity again. So it'll be technically a World Under-20 Championship next summer. That's correct. Yeah, I, I mean, we were so close to the event itself. I mean, this all hit in March. The event was in July. Typically, teams will confirm their player rosters uh, you know, around that time, even with the case of our national team uh, being the home team, we had our roster confirmed last September. So, you know, these are young guys, uh, uh, and we're going to talk in a moment about the impact in lacrosse in America. But, you know, a lot of these young guys were going into their senior year of high school in the U.S., which is a key year for them. Many of them, you know, playing for state championship, but even more importantly, playing for potential scholarships uh, to university level across in the US, which is huge. I mean, in my opinion, it's more or less on a level with NCAA basketball, the NCAA lacrosse season. So, you know, these are players in that age group who have missed out on a huge opportunity domestically, but at least we can continue to give them the opportunity to play in a world championship. And it's great that World Lacrosse equally recognize this and preserves the opportunity for those players by just making it a U20 event so, you know, the rosters can stay the same. Great. And you mentioned there the fact that lacrosse could be one of those sports to actually emerge much stronger as a result of the, the lockdown and, and the pandemic. Uh, NBC over in America has announced also this week that it's giving consideration to hosting the, uh, you know, the, the professional league, the lacrosse league, which is only two years old, but which is limited in size. So it involves around about 300 players that they're going to quarantine and they're going to play a tournament over the span of when the Olympics was going to be filling the NBC scheduling hours. So this could be massive for the sport across the US. Absolutely. You know, they're, they're taking advantage of an opening. Um, and uh, so there's actually uh, two professional leagues. In fact, there's three professional leagues in North America. Uh, there's an indoor league, which is the National Lacrosse League, NLL. Then there was an outdoor league called Major League Lacrosse, MLL. 
Um, that still exists, uh, but obviously there are no games uh, being played at the moment. And then this new Premier Lacrosse League, which, as, as you've said, has only been in existence for two years, was really kind of a breakaway league from Major League Lacrosse, which had existed for more than 10 years. And the PLL is headed up by a guy named Paul Rabel, uh, who I've met. Um, Paul was a standout lacrosse player at Johns Hopkins University. So many people who are tracking uh, the coronavirus may hear Johns Hopkins University. They're providing a lot of data. Well, Paul Rabel was a standout player at Johns Hop Hopkins. Okay. He has led the, the development of this new Premier Lacrosse League. And basically, they're trying to promote a new model uh, for professional lacrosse. And they have a huge social media following. They are, they're really promoting their individual stars. Um, they brought in innovations like um, in-helmet microphones uh, for players. So a player scores a goal. They show the replay. They go straight to the player. You know, what was your thinking during that? You know, so they're really being extremely innovative. Uh, and I think this step with uh, uh, compressing the league during that slot for, that had the Olympics previously in it is just another example of, of that innovation that they're really promoting. Great. So innovation and agility combined with the, with the power of, uh, of mass market television, it, it could be a, a real game changer. Now, lacrosse is already big in, in the States, in, in high school and, and into college. Um, what, what, what's the state of the, of the game here in Ireland at the moment? So it's still very much a developing sport here. Uh, we uh, have only five team, five men's teams and five women's teams, mostly at the universities. Uh, though some adult leagues and um, you know we're trying to develop the sport from the ground up um, we have successful national teams that tend to punch above their weight in the international competition because we draw on you know Americans or Canadians who have Irish citizenship um, uh, to be part of our national teams um, but we're trying to use the profile that that generates to help promote the game here uh, domestically um, so, you know, we're really wanting, you know, one of the reasons why we bid to host uh, the tournament in Limerick is, you know, to generate some interest, some attention, some income uh, that we can use to contribute to the development of the game here. And, you know, again, having an extra 12 months, you know, I'm all about looking at silver linings and, you know, that extra 12 months is about how we can maximize that um, in order to, you know, make it a successful event, which could in turn uh, contribute to the further development of the sport here. Um, many people don't, aren't aware, in fact, that there was men's lacrosse in Ireland uh, in the late 1800s. Uh, there was women's lacrosse from 1920 all the way up to 1970. Um, so we're not completely reinventing the wheel, uh, but um, in the modern year, just like what the PLL is doing, you know, we're trying to adapt to the current conditions and, uh, yeah, really promote the sport. Okay, so diving back into the past, looking to the future. Well, thanks very much, Michael. Uh, the very best of luck with that. And the, the world, what will now be the World Under 20 uh, Lacrosse Championship is going to be held in the University of Limerick uh, next June, June 2021. Uh, thanks very much, Michael, for taking the time and uh, the best of luck with that. All right. Thanks so much, Rob.